Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanasa here. So the complete Google Ads keyword research tutorial. Now when it comes to keywords and using keywords for Google Ads, that is literally one of the most important things you can do because as you're about to find out, keywords play a big role in the kind of results that you get with your Google Ads. And it doesn't really matter whether you do shopping ads only or you do shopping and search ads because keywords is a fundamental thing that you need to have right on your product pages. But unfortunately, keywords are also one of the most commonly misused parts of Google Ads because a lot of people really don't know what is the proper method to go out and find winning keywords and how to even implement them within the product pages and the overall website. Now, if you have already watched a lot of my other Google Ads tutorials, you know that keywords play an important role in whatever I do and whatever videos I have. But this video is gonna go a little bit more in depth into actually finding those keywords, knowing which are the right keywords which are the wrong keywords, etc. So be sure to watch this video until the end, but let's just get right into it. So the first thing you'll have to do in order to find any type of success with the keyword research tutorial I'm about to show you is to just gently destroy that like button down below until it turns blue. It'll take just two quick seconds. Okay, hopefully I've done that. But before talking about the exact strategy I personally use and going in depth with a real life example, we need to know exactly how keywords work with Google Ads, meaning why is this even important in the first place? One thing you wanna understand is that keywords literally equals interest targeting with Facebook ads. So when you go on Facebook ads, you want to launch a new ad set, you would go in and you would choose an interest to target or a lookalike audience. With Google ads, these interests within the ads that we target are known as these keywords because what they do is that they provide some kind of direction to the algorithm to give it an idea of what your product is and where it should go and what it should rank for in the first place. So it takes out any type of guesswork that is associated with your products because if you just end up uploading a blank description with no kind of helpful title, you're not going to be ranking for the right terms. And when you don't rank for the right terms, you lower your overall page authority, which means you're just wasting money at that point. So knowing exactly what kind of keywords are the right keywords to be using increases the overall page authority. Now, what do I mean by this exactly? Well, when you have more keywords on your product page and more keywords doesn't necessarily always mean it's a good thing, but if you have a handful of keywords which are relevant to what you wanna sell, what that means is that there are more chances for you to rank for one of these handful of keywords that you have. When that happens, you automatically gain authority in Google's eyes because Google sees that you're actually ranking for something and Google doesn't just randomly rank advertisers for no reason. There's always a reason behind that. So when they see that, it adds more authority and this can lead you to ranking for even more keywords and then lowering your costs as a result. So this is exactly why it's so important to know exactly how to be using these keywords in the right way. But now that we've kind of gone over the basics of why keywords are important, let's start talking about the step-by-step. -step. What is the first step to finding the right keywords? The first thing you'll have to do is actually find the product. So for this example, we're going to be using this glove right here, which can be used in the outdoors. As you can see, it's a very professional looking glove and it is somewhat of a mid-ticket item on Google Ads, but we're gonna be using this as an example. So the first step is figuring out the main word to describe the product. And I recommend you keep this between one to three words max when you use any type of keyword planner tool. So for instance here, the best way to figure out what the product actually is, is by just taking a glance at the title and trying to notice the keywords that are appearing more towards the front rather than towards the end. Because just like with Google Ads on AliExpress, these suppliers have to include the right SEO keywords in order to rank better on these AliExpress listings. So they're doing the same exact techniques as we would normally do. But if we look at the main title right here, we can see that this product can easily be described as a tactical glove. So remember, we don't wanna exceed three words to describe the product. Once you know exactly what the main keyword is, you wanna move on to the next step. And that next step is using the keyword planner tool or any other keyword research website you personally use. There's a bunch of other keyword research websites such as ubersuggest.com, which you can be using, but you wanna go on there and you wanna basically type in that main keyword. So in this case, as we did right here, tactical gloves. Once you have done that, then it's time to move on to the third step. And that third step is setting up certain filters on the keyword planner tool. Now these filters option, it's mostly available on the Google keyword planner tool. So if you're using something else, you wanna kind of manually look at this. But the first filter is exclude adult ideas. We cannot sell adult products or rank for adult keywords 
on Google Ads. So we just want to completely exclude them. The second one is average monthly searches greater than or equal to 500 or 999. So basically a thousand. I like to kind of use both of these numbers once in a while, but anything above 500 is fine. If you're dealing with a product which has a thousands of different keywords, then maybe 999 is the best because we want to be ranking for the highest search keyword. So this is kind of interchangeable, but normally keep it at 500 or 999. So for here, what we did is we went ahead and we're going to do this at about 999 in this case. So as we can see, that's exactly what we did. Once you're done with that, it's time to move on to the next step. And this next step is looking back up at the chart. Now, not everybody is going to have access to this chart. If you're just brand new starting out with Google ads, you need to spend some money on the account before you have exact results like these or exact data like this. But looking at the chart, here's what we want to be doing. We want to look at the past two to three months of trend plus the volume for the keywords associated with this product. So you want it to be a minimum of 20,000 volume total or more. So if we go back here and look at this, we can see that on July, it was about looking at total 19,900. And on, in June, it was 24,300. And in May, it was 20,400. So this metric right here is right at the borderline of what we want. But this is not the only thing we look at. Let's move on to the next thing, which is looking at last year during this time period. So right now, when I'm recording this video, it is late August, early September. So if we look at last August and September, we can see that it was kind of a straight line around 11,000. But it definitely did increase in October, November, and December. And it looks like November and December was when it was at peak season. If you're not really sure by looking at just 12 months of data, go ahead and click right there and click on last 24 months to see if this trend is visible for the past two years. So if we look at 2018, October, November, December, it was the same thing as in October, November, December of 2019. So that's a good sign. That means this product peaks up during this time period. So this is something we may want to consider selling if it matches our other criteria. Now, I'm not going to really go in depth into what other criteria I'm referring to here because I've gone over it a thousand times in my other Google Ads videos. You can check those out after this one. This is mostly about just choosing the right keywords. But let's move on to the next step. And that next step is looking at the individual keywords. There are a few things you'll have to ask yourself when you're looking at these keywords. And the first question is, is the keyword you're trying to rank for relevant to what you want to sell? So looking back at this product, this is a tactical glove. Clearly, that's all it is. There's nothing extra to it. If we go and look at the first keyword available over here, we can see that the first keyword is tactical gloves at 12,100 average monthly searches. Remember, the filter we set for each individual keyword is 999. So each of these will be 999 or above individually. But as total, meaning if we add all of these up, it should be over 20,000. So as you can see, the total number is right there. But this keyword right here, tactical gloves, is it really relevant to what we want to sell? And if you're not really sure, the best way to find out is simply look at this on a Google search. Simply search it up on Google and you'll get your answer instantly. So as you can see, these tactical gloves came up and these look very, very similar. Maybe not the same design or color or texture, but very similar functionality as what we want to sell. So this is a good sign. You want to move on to the next question then, and that is search volume. Does it match our search volume of minimum of 500 to 999 or more? In this case, of course, it does because we set the filter. So we move on to the third one, and that is competition. How many people are actually selling this? And by people, I mean dropshippers. If I see more than five to seven dropshippers selling any given product, that's it for me. I'm not going to try to sell that product because I really don't want to chase after a small piece of the pie. I would rather get the whole pie for myself. So what that means is that if I see more than five to seven dropshippers here, I would possibly move on. So if we look at this, we can see that this store right here clearly is a dropshipping store. This may be also a dropshipping store. This is definitely a dropshipping store. Mechanics wear definitely a dropshipping store. You can know right away by just looking at the name. So right away, we saw about four dropshippers. And if we go down the list right here, we can see more and more. For instance, if we look at this, definitely a dropshipping store. So that's already five dropshippers in total. This may be a product I would rather skip rather than try to sell for. But of course, there's exceptions to this rule, meaning if you find a tactical glove that's completely out of this world, nobody here is selling that, you found an amazing image which can really stand out, then by all means, give it a try. But usually, if I see more than five to seven, I just move on. The last thing that I normally want to ask myself is what is the average profits that I can get from selling this product? So if I get it on AliExpress for $14 with free shipping, and if we try to look at what we can sell for based on what our competition is doing, we can see that it's selling around $27, $25, maybe up to $30. So this leaves us with around $10 to $15 of profits, which is not enough for me because I prefer $20 or more. So this is another deal breaker for me. Maybe I would just rather move on from this product. But for this example, we're going to continue on. 
once you kind of figured that out, here's the next step. And that is incorporating the keywords and everything into your product page. How can you incorporate these keywords that you found the right way into your titles, description, image, all the text. Now, again, I've made videos on this on my channel already, which you can check out. But the basic rule is that you want to be repeating the main searched keywords up to a maximum of three times within your description. And if you try to do it more than three times, it could possibly work against you because when Google's algorithms crawls through your product page, it can detect these keywords. And these are the keywords I'll use, as I mentioned earlier, to rank your products. So if it sees it used unnecessarily a lot of times, it may actually count it as black hat marketing. And that is not a good thing for you because that just leads to more problems with your Google Merchant Center account as well as your Google Ads account. So you want to use it for a maximum of three times. But here's exactly how I would go about writing my title. So for instance, I always start off at the top for my title because the keyword ranking at the top has the most searches done compared to every other keyword, which is what we want. Because again, Google's algorithm reads from left to right. So my main keyword within my title will be tactical gloves. Once I use all of the available words within the keyword inside my title, then I move on to the next one, next keyword and try to incorporate more keywords within my title. So for instance, here, military gloves, we have already used the keyword gloves, so we can't really do it again, but we haven't used military. Can we use military somewhere within our main title? And the answer is yes, we can say military tactical gloves. Now that we've kind of incorporated that keyword, let's move on to the next one. This one here is a brand, so we can't use that. I normally don't like to use best inside my titles. I do use them for my image alt text, but we're going to move on from there. Hard knuckle gloves. So here we haven't used the words hard knuckle. So maybe it could be military hard knuckle tactical gloves. And then we move on to the next one. This one is a brand. So again, we avoid fingerless tactical gloves. So we can do military hard knuckle fingerless tactical gloves. And that would be my main title for this product. As you can see, this was not just a small random title I came up with. It was a title based around the keywords, which I found. And we made sure to go from top to bottom because we want the main keyword ranking at the top to be somewhere towards the front rather than towards the end. And that's exactly how I go about doing my titles. But with the descriptions, Again, it's very simple. You want to stay away from the branded keywords. Just be sure to use these other ones which are available up to a maximum of three times each. You want to kind of incorporate it one by one within the descriptions. And finally, image alt text. That is when I go in and add keywords like best tactical gloves, or if it said tactical gloves for sale, basically those kinds of keywords, which really wouldn't make sense, including in our description, those go into the image alt text. But this is kind of the general step by step I layout I use to really find those winning Google ads keywords and use them consistently throughout my descriptions to rank high and get sales. But if you found any type of value in this video, smash that like button and smash that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.